hello, something different today. I'm going to chat to you a little bit about some brushes. It can be a little bit confusing and a little bit daunting about all these different types of brushes. If we start at the beginning, you'd probably use this one, which is a stippling brush to pat in your foundation. This gives a lovely flawless finish. This one is a flat foundation brush. You can see it's covered in foundation. You'd use that to pick up the foundation from the back of your hand and put it in stripes where you are going to apply it. You're probably going to use an all over face brush afterwards to dust on any powder afterwards. And then this one is an angled cheek brush. So you can see if I go to apply powder, we've got the apples of the cheeks, but it will go up into a point. So it's giving this kind of shape on your cheekbone. I have a fluffy eyeshadow brush. This is brilliant for doing the base and covering a larger area with a soft brush to apply base powder mainly. And then we have a smaller fluffy brush, which I generally use to cut into a crease. Um, so because it's smaller, you can use it to define an area a lot more. This brush is one of my favourites. It's an angled eyeshadow brush. This is perfect for just dabbing into powder, picking up and you can use to be more precise. So here, and if you wanted to wing, you would take it up like this and then you could go across there and point your wing out a bit more. It's really good for shaping and being defined. And then I have two of these applicators. Oops, um, you can see one's slightly bigger than the other. So generally what I'll do is use this one. If I've popped some under eye illuminator here, I will use this just to sort of tap in. Um, because it's smaller, you then don't get loads of fallout and it, it's a more precise area. And then this one is great for cream shadows if you're doing just here. But I can also use that again. It's like the angled eye brush where you can define more accurately. And then there's an applicator on the end. So I would use this for picking up highlighter or some white powder and just tapping it in there. So it's like sort of um, those micro dot areas if you just wanted to highlight there or the top of your lips to define those areas. And then we have a lip brush. So if you're wanting to get a more, um, again, a more accurate look and precise and more coverage, you can build with this and you can use this to just take off the lip colour off a lipstick and just take a little bit more time and get a more emphasised look. And then finally, one of my favourites, this is a fan brush, which is Fabulous for picking up highlighter and just going like this and you get that highlight on the top of your cheekbones and then a little bit there, a little bit there, a little bit there. And that's always completing my finished looks. That's a really quick guide to each brush, what they all do. But at the end of the day, there's no rules. Use your brush wherever you like.